Guys, it's probably been five or six years at least uh, since I originally discovered this thing called the Shark RF Open Spot. And over the course of those six or seven years, uh, Shark has upgraded the Open Spot to the point where we now have the Open Spot 4. Well, today I'm going to take a look at the Open Spot 4. And because it is such a very, very close sibling with the Open Spot 3, we're going to kind of go head to head Open Spot 4 versus Open Spot 3. What are the benefits? And if you already have a 3, do you need to upgrade yours to the 4? This time on K6UDA Radio. As you guys may or may not know, I have been a longtime fan of the product called an open spot. I found these guys when uh, when they were making the first open spot. I did shows on them. I did all kinds of stuff. I've been active on their forums, uh, giving advice and getting advice. Today, we have the newest iteration of of the open spot this is the open spot four my big questions are what are the difference between the three and the four they seem to be functionally or uh, at least physically they look the same they both have the same buttons on the front they both have the same uh, USB C connector on the top they even have the same little lanyard hole on the bottom and then on the other side there uh, they both have the printed uh, stuff that that all these things have all right guys so now that we know that the open spot three and the open spot four are physically exactly alike i uh for the life of me i don't see any differences between the two of these things other than uh, the the color of the printing is a little bit lighter and brighter on the open spot four and uh, the open spot four obviously has its little uh, four dots doesn't even say open spot four on it and the open spot three has the little open spot three and you could see the difference in the color so i wanted to set both of these up and let me see let me move let me move the three over here so you guys can see it and i'll move the four over here and then you guys can see everything so moving on to the main status screen here um what you what you get between the open spot three and the open spot four is a little bit more um a little bit more robustness, I would say, on the open spot four in the status uh, where you could see the two on the open spot three shows me it's from 3100. I wanted to set this up so we're kind of dealing with apples and apples here. The open spot four is set up on C4FM porting out to uh, DMR. The open spot three is uh, currently set up for my ID 52. That's set up in D star mode, porting itself out to uh, DMR side. Back at the screens here, you're going to notice on the open spot four, uh, the two, the two shows USA bridge 3100 and it shows a little bit more information. Uh, the WD8 PRS Gary, uh, who's who was talking there, as opposed to the open spot three, shows me two thirty one hundred, and it shows me from uh, this guy's the same guy's um, DMR address. 
The logs look pretty much identical. Everything else on here is pretty much identical. Connectors are going to be pretty much the same. Uh, I have different frequencies for the two different radios. The modem setting on each one of these going to be slightly different. On the Open Spot 3, I've got the D Star and the Open Spot 4 is C4FM. Obviously, different frequencies again. They have the CWID, the modulation, other settings all look identical. Something you'd get on the Open Spot 4 is up to 10 different profile names, and you've got five on the Open Spot 3. So there's a difference. On the three, there is a Shark RF network device login, and it doesn't look like that is in at least in the same place. So I can on the open spot three, it says to switch to wireless mode, and on the open spot four, enable Wi-Fi AP. Well, if I wanted to reconfigure it, I could switch right there on the screen and enable the. Uh, the Wi-Fi AP. You can see the Open Spot 3 is actually doing a uh, software update right now. And um, under wireless settings, you could put up to five different wireless uh, wireless deals in there. And everything else looks pretty, pretty close. Uh, the IP settings a little bit different. You could do DHCP or static on the three and here on the four you can do static you can use an ip version six or the uh, dhcp we'll run back over to the status screens on both of them now we'll go through that quick setup the quick setup i'm a big fan of uh it makes things very easy non-technical so if you haven't already tried it i'd say try it under the user manual and here we'll go back and then it gives you the option for the shark rf link on both sides here and that i imagine looks exactly the same dmr sms chat i've never used dmr sms chat and it looks like both of those are exactly the same pogsag and dapnet and I don't know anything about those. I'm not a uh, DMR power user. Let's just say that. Brand, uh, Brandmeister manager on both of them is uh, pretty much identical. I've done a little bit more setup on the open spot for there. And then the quick call on both of them is almost exactly alike. I want to make it perfectly clear here. Uh, the open spot folks did send me a uh, review copy of the open spot four i want to thank them uh it doesn't affect the review now here comes the review part both the open spot three and the open spot four for the most part it's the same thing i think like a lot of radio manufacturers uh during the whole covid thing shark rf probably couldn't get a hold of some of the components or parts that made up the open spot three so you run out of stock and you got to do something else. And they probably did something else. They made a few refinements in the open spot three. If you have a good functioning open spot three, I wouldn't be in a huge hurry to run out and buy an open spot four right now. If on the other hand, uh, you're, stuck in the dark ages and you're using an old raspberry pi with a dv with a dmmv hat on it or you've got an older open spot an open spot blue or an open spot two um, i would say the open spot four is a fantastic upgrade really really good upgrade so i'm operating uh, DMR on my fusion radio here and I'm also operating DMR on my D star radio here so really it doesn't matter uh, I can have either radio and I've got all the functionality or all the all the mode that I want 
based on having uh, having the little box like this. Am I still a big fan of the open spot? Hell yes. This thing has changed the way thousands of hams have uh, have functionally done business. It has become less of is there a repeater for the mode I want to operate in my area and more or less uh, I'm bringing my repeater with me. Yep, they cost a bunch of money. Oh well. Um, both of these radios cost a bunch of money and there's a lot of guys that line up to buy them, me included. Millions of people line up every year to get the latest, greatest Samsung phone or Apple phone, and they pay $1,500 for this. So if you're thinking at all about getting into uh, another mode with digital or you want to try out digital, this is a great way to do it. It's easy to do. It fires up, you know, almost anywhere that you've got, uh, you've got cell service. I've heard the whole, you might as well just use the internet and, a, and a whatever. I don't even want to hear that. That's just stupid. This is a radio hobby. This enables me to use my radio hobby kind of wherever I am, wherever I want to be, in whatever mode I want to operate it. All right, guys. Uh, as always, if you haven't already hit that subscribe button, please hit the subscribe button. Uh, please consider becoming a patron and helping out the channel or donating to the cause on PayPal. Remember, big thumbs up uh, for the video. Share the video. Let other people know uh, wherever you're doing your social media. Let other people know about K6 UDA Radio. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this show. Uh, hope maybe it helped you determine if the open spot four is for you or if your open spot three is going to take care of you into the next year, maybe two years. I don't know what else uh, the Shark RF people have in store for us in future iterations. Uh, but hey, I am a fan of their stuff. Always have been. And we'll catch you the next time. I'm Bob K6UDA. I'm out of here. 7 3.